Hello everyone, this is Ranjit from GCS MDM team. In this video, I will discuss about CREPO's MQ data change table. So here is the agenda. Uh, I will give you an overview of this table and I will show you what are the columns this table has and how they populate according to different events we generate. So CREPO's MQ data change table gets popul populates when we configure message trigger to publish data to downstream system. Hub server will poll this table at regular intervals and the data which is not sent, it will construct an XML message and send it to outbound queue. Once message sent to the outbound queue, it is external application's responsibility to retrieve the message from the outbound queue and process it. So now I will give a demo about this table. So here are the message trigger settings I have configured. So these are the events I have selected for which it will generate the trigger and, and insert the record in CREPO's MQ data change table. So I have selected three systems admin, product and SFA for which it will generate the trigger and in message system also I, I will I have selected these three systems. So suppose if I am updating a record for SFA system for which uh, there are three xref present from admin product and sfa so it is there were three xref present for this space object so this is the change type it has generated as it was a update it is it is showing the code 2 so this is the pk which we have updated so it, it has generated three rows to identify which record has been updated we need to compare this uh, pk source object column which and source pk source object column both should have the same value as well as the source row id uh, system column and target row id system column both should have the, the the same value so for this record we have the same values so this xref has been actually updated Now I will merge to record. So I am merging row ID 1 and row ID 20,002. So it has generated two rows here as the, the, there were two xref and it is showing change type 4 which is uh, merge event. The row id object will show the value uh, of the, the row id which has, which has survived after the merge. merge source row id object column will show the row id which is, which is the losing one now i will show you how this table gets populates in case of unmerge event so i am unmerging this xref So in case of unmerge, it will uh, show you the code uh, change type 8. And this row ID object, it will have the value for which unmerge operation has been performed. And from merge source row ID object, you can get the row ID object which has been unmerged from the group. Now I will unmerge a root record and show you how this table gets populated. So this is the uh, uh, data manager and from here I can see the raw ID object to 20001 which is the root record for which original raw ID object and raw ID object is same. So I will unmerge uh, this record. So record has been unmerged. So 
so it will generate a change type 8 for this event and this is the raw id object uh, which has been unmerged uh, as it was a root record and from merge source raw id object you can identify which record has been survived from the previous group so suppose there were three xref a b and c and b was the root record and you have unmerged b so this uh, this column will have the value which is surviving between a and c so this is the how this table gets populated with different events so we would always love to hear from you you can share your feedback on the twitter or support videos at informatica.com thank you